This is part 11 of Angular CLI tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss generating modules using the Angular CLI. In a real world, an Angular project typically contains more than one module. When we generated this Angular project using the Angular CLI, we got one module out of the box, which is this app module. This is the root module of our application. We can also generate modules using the Angular CLI. To generate a module using the Angular CLI, we may use this command ng generate module and then the module name or we can also use its alias ng g for generate m for module and the module name. Let's generate a new module. To generate a new module we use ng which stands for Angular CLI itself, g for generate, m for module and let's name our module student module. This is going to create a new module called student and it's going to place this module inside its own dedicated folder which is also named student as you can see right here. Now for us to be able to use this newly generated module we must first import it into the root module and Angular CLI is not going to do that for us automatically by default. Now we have two choices here. One, we can manually import the student module into app module or we can instruct the Angular CLI to do so at the generation time. We'll discuss the second option in just a bit. First, let's manually import the student module into our root module which is the app module. Notice within Visual Studio Code, we have student folder and inside that we have our student module which we have just generated. Now let's import the student module in our app module. And there are two steps for that. First, we need to include the required import statement to import the student module from this file right here. And then we need to make the student module part of the import array. So with these two steps, we have the student module imported into our root module. Now, instead of manually importing the module, we can tell Angular CLI to do that for us automatically. To tell Angular CLI to import the newly generated module into another module, we use dash dash module option. Notice in this case we are telling not only generate the student's module but also import it into our root module app module. We can either use the full option name module like that or we can use its alias m and then specify the name of the module. So let's generate a new module. Before that let's clear the screen ng g m this time let's name our module customer module we not only want to generate this module we also want to import it into another module so let's use dash m and then specify the name of the module into which we want to import this newly generated module we want to import it into app module now let's also use the dry run flag so we can actually see the list of files and folders it's going to generate notice it not only created the customer module it also updated app module to import customer module into it. By default, the customer module that is generated is placed inside its own dedicated folder which is also named customer. If you don't want a folder of its own, then simply set dash dash flat option to true. So this is going to place the customer module directly within the app folder. And also notice, by default, a module will not have a spec file generated. If you also want a spec file to be generated, then set dash dash spec equals true. Now let's execute this command without the dry run flag. So it's actually going to physically create these files for us. There we go. Notice now our customer module does not have a dedicated folder. We have a spec file created and app module is also updated. Notice within Visual Studio Code, we have our customer module right here. The spec file is here and if we look at our app module, we have the required import statement and customer module is also made part of the import array. So to generate a spec file, set dash dash spec option to true. If you don't want a dedicated folder for the module you are generating, set dash dash flat to true. Thank you for listening and have a great day.